And now it's action time. In this exercise, we are going to implement a 4 to 2 priority encoder using if else if statements. Remember that this code is synthesizable and is suitable for both ASIC and FPGA. In the left side, we have the block diagram, and in the right side, we have the very low code for it. For this encoder, D3 has the highest priority and D0 the lowest one. The very low code for this module is extremely simple. We first declare the module's ports at lines 3 to 5. Q and V are output reg because they are used in the left hand side of always at blocks. At line 9 we decode the priority of the D port bits. We use always at star since it's the best practice for combinational blocks. At line 10 we process bit D3 because it has the highest priority and next we process the other bits with lower priority. The if-else-if if assures that in the case of multiple bits set, we will process the first one with the highest priority. At line 21 we have the code for the valid output. This code says that V will set only if D has a non-zero value. The testbench code has the standard structure that we use during the rest of the course. At line 34 we declare the testbench variables and at line 40 we connect them with the DUT. At line 47, we create the stimulus and monitor D, Q and V. The walking one pattern from line 50 should trigger all the values for Q and V. Next, at line 53, we try some multi-bit patterns to see if the encoder calculates the bit position of the highest set bit. After you run the simulation, you should get the results from the left in the console. 